Lauren Rabinowitz, Miss Massachusetts 2010. I graduated from Harvard in 2010 as well, and I'm heading to medical school in August. particularly important exhibit to come and see because as somebody who is both going into medicine and a third generation survivor of Holocaust, it's incredible how fine the line is between victim and perpetrator. Not only were these physicians acting in accordance with Nazi law, they were in fact a very big part of the creation of that law and of actually implementing the racist and um, and deadly uh, propaganda of Adolf Hitler. This is not fun history. This is not pleasant history. The images are ugly. They're painful. They remind us of how quickly our society can devolve into death, destruction, and mass murder. My grandparents were survival survivors of World War II. They were the sole surviving members of their respective families. They were from Galicia, which is in southeastern Poland, and were childhood sweethearts. Unfortunately, each of their families were gassed to death in Belgians, and my grandmother in particular had an extraordinary story of survival, jumping off the train, going to the death camp, and um, surviving in a labor camp until my grandfather found her, rescued her at the end of the war, and they got married. part about this exhibit in particular is that it makes you think. And my grandmother always used to say to me, the only thing that you can never lose and that can never be taken away from you is what lies in between your two ears. It just doesn't occur to you that this is something that could happen again. But there have been genocides that have occurred since this happened, and they occurred in very similar ways. The work that has been done by the U.S. Holocaust Museum in general, and in this specific, uh, specific exhibit, is important because it forces us to confront a very ugly piece of history and to think about the ways that it's relevant to us as future physicians, as people who are working in the medical industry or not. I think that if there's one thing that I would want people to come away from the exhibit uh, with, it's a sense of empowerment and in a sense that everybody has control over their own decision making. We each participate in a society willingly. We each have to take what is given to us at a governmental level, at a societal level, process it, and make sure that it's really the right choice.